Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. This is gonna be on our two to three episode series on maintaining soil health in the garden. So that first episode, I'm really glad that you all loved. It was something that I was, uh, I was hoping would be well received. And in fact, it was really well received. And I think it definitely touched on a lot of different things that I just don't feel are really being talked about enough. And so in this episode, we're gonna talk about two ways to maintain your soil health. And that way it'll be really quick, it'll be bite-sized, so you can take this information, and that way I can also uh, carry it on over to the, to the next episode. So uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about adding organic material and the importance of adding organic material to your garden. Because I just think that a lot of people assume a garden, once it's set up, is pretty much ready to go. However, and I also do think that there are a lot of people that, uh, that know the importance of amending their soil, but they amend it with nutrients rather than organic material. And so it's, you're doing partly a right thing, which we'll also talk about remineralization in this episode. It's, it's definitely not a bad thing, but if you're not adding the organic material like humus and compost, you're not really giving your soil the structure that it needs. So you can give your plants the nutrients but without the structure, it does not give a home for beneficial bacteria and fungi to live. So here's our compost pile, and it's been breaking down for several months now, but you can see here that the soil, even in the compost, or the compost is very rich, it's very dark. And you'll notice that even though it is ready to go on the garden, what makes it very good compost is the fact that it contains lots of humus. Humus is the uh, broken down, exoskeleton of once living uh, organic matter. So you might have like leaves or grass clippings or things like uh, little chunks of wood. Those are all broken down and they're ready to add to the garden. But you can see that they are still plant-like. You can see that they still have some form of, uh, I guess, structure to them. And people would say, well, that's not broken down enough. Wrong, folks, wrong. This is the organic matter that we're talking about. This is organic matter, but this is organic matter in the form of humus. This is very important to have in your garden because this is what provides the structure to your garden. And this is what provides the structure to your soil, I should say, that adds the porous, uh, I guess the porous structure that allows for bacteria and fungi to thrive. This is, this is very spongy, I can crush it up. See what I'm saying? I can crush this up and it holds a lot of moisture, it holds a lot of um, nutrients, it also allows those holes, that the large surface area for the bacteria and fungi to survive in, which again is the, the key component to having healthy soil. So let's go back over to the beds, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so just on the top of the soil here, I can actually analyze uh, some pretty good bits of organic material. It's pretty dry right now, but this is not a reflection of the soil quality, it's just the surface of the soil. If I dig down, it's actually very, very nice and moist down there and very, very good quality soil. But you can see here, I can actually pick up lots of different bits and pieces of, of uh, humus, see? Look at all of that. Now people would say, Luke, you've got chunks of wood in your bed. It's wrong. These are chunks of wood that are broken down. There's a huge difference. If you just throw wood chips in your garden, um, like if you just throw these in your garden, what's going to happen is it's going to cause carbon sequestration. And that's because the bacteria in your soil, or it's nitrogen sequestration, I apologize. Nitrogen sequestration. It will rob nitrogen from your soil because the bacteria use nitrogen to break down the carbon in this material. This is all carbon here. And so they need that nitrogen to break down uh, the, the organic material. So when you add a composted material like this stuff here, it has already been broken down and it's very, it's very, they call it punky. See, it's, it's, uh, it's black inside. And what happens is it's very, you know, you could, it's very pliable and bendable and, and spongy. And that's because it is finished compost containing humus. That is what, that's what you really need to have in your soil. Because if you don't, and you just have this stuff here, this stuff, I mean, even though it's pretty decent, 
It does not have a lot of soil structure. It's very uh, crumbly. It's very dry. There's not a whole lot of uh, there's not a whole lot of room for bacteria and fungi to call home. And sure, you have little bits and twigs and stuff, and that's because I have amended my soil. But if you look at this portion here of the soil, if your soil is just like this, chances are your soil life is probably not as good as it could be. All right. So the final thing that I want to talk about would be pretty quick because I've talked about this kind of ad nauseum on this channel and that's covering your soil. The importance to covering your soil is that like I said in the in before we uh, before we started this series in the kind of the prelude uh, is that covering your soil prevents solarization whether that's done through annuals like this kale here or perennials or uh, some type of ground cover um, it could be a cover crop um, it could be anything for that matter any type of green material or mulch or something like that um, you just want to make sure that the soil is covered because if you're not covering the soil what can happen is your soil is left bare and that actually affects the rhizosphere like we talked about in the fact that the Sun can actually uh, can penetrate down through the soil and kill the uh, kill the soil life much like you get a sunburn if you're out in the Sun too long if your soil is out in the Sun bare too long it will it will die just the same because it's it's actually radiation coming down from the Sun that solar radiation is what kills your soil so if you want to maintain your healthy soil I find that it's the best the best way to do it is through covering your soil with plants um, but you can also do it with mulch and that will maintain that rhizosphere which is that one to five inches of soil which is the most crucial because that contains about 80 to 90 percent of your soil life the soil uh, or the the life that helps to um, go mine those minerals to help your plants all right so there you go i hope you all enjoyed i hope you all found this informative as well as not too long they don't need to be that long because there's a lot of information and i don't want to overwhelm people so if you have to please do rewind this video watch it over again a couple times take notes i know people do that and they and they uh, let me know that they do that and that's great it's definitely okay to take notes it's, there's nothing wrong with that at all it really does help to uh some people take you know, are visual learners sometimes people are are uh they learn through writing things down that's totally okay i absolutely get that so uh however you retain the information is great i just hope you learn something and that's all that matters um the final thing that i would love for you to do is if you have not yet give this video a thumbs up please do if you don't have a, a youtube account and you're just watching this video um, share with a friend that really helps us out as well we want to help as many gardeners out as possible and it's just topics like this that are not talked enough about and really are just avoided for whatever reason and i hope that's not the case i, I really hope we can kind of get this ball rolling talking about soil health and its importance so if you know a youtuber or you know a content creator that does gardening videos uh, send them a link to this video and say hey i want i want you to talk about it as well because i really do think that the more we ignore the soil uh, the the more we're going to be confused about how we get back to a successful garden and really how we can uh, improve the soil health of our garden because it's just one thing when you ignore it it's never going to get better it's only going to get worse and you can constantly be putting band-aids on the problem but it's never really going to fix it's never really going to be the solution if you know what i mean so uh, i do hope that we can all get together behind this because soil is the uh, the foundation for life it is what feeds us it is what feeds this planet and if we can uh, if we can learn about how to nourish the soil health we can learn to nourish our health as well so as always i hope you all enjoyed hopefully you learned something new and we'll catch you all later see ya bye